Well, that's probably what you just saw in the shirt. That's what I thought. Yeah, he he said he saw it. Ever since we were small children, we've been taking family vacations to the Outer Banks in North Carolina. We have been surf fishing our whole lives, but in 2020 we decided to take it to the next level. We started using kayaks to take large baits out past the break. And our timing was perfect last year as we were able to catch rays and sharks all week long right from the surf. Being from Northeast Ohio, the majority of our time and money is spent chasing white-tailed deer. Two of both sides are equal. Look at that. Look at that. And our fishing content is yeah, usually limited to our annual tie nest and trout camp. All I was catch a fish to put on the wall and Luke did it. I thought we weren't fishing tonight. Well, yeah, that didn't last very long. Wants, yeah, wants. that did not last very long at all. Come on, Matt. One thing you learn very quickly is how much work goes into catching sharks off the surf. <laughs> yeah. Shameless plug. Yeah. Black tip H. Monster shark rig. <laughs> Hopefully we can use it to its full potential. What size, is that? What size hook is that? 20 on, I think. 16 on. 16 on. Are we using bluefish? Whole bluefish? Whole bluefish for bait. Improved clinch? Always. Yeah, it's the only it's the only fishing knot I know how to tie. It works even for this kind of stuff. Any mono. Hasn't failed us yet. Next you guys caught that today, right? Yesterday? 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 Yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, maybe the tide is coming up still. Yeah, we'll take care of it. <laughs> Longer than we wanted. Hey, <laughs> he's way out there. Just drop it. He dropped. Okay, good, good. Hopefully, he comes back without drowning. So, like, I don't know the exact titration, but like, up to 60 liters, it doesn't give you that much sleep at all. Like, maybe. Like, like maybe bit. up yeah. to 12. And unfortunately, our week ended without bringing in any of our target species. Nothing? Do you still bait on there? What you making there? Sharks. Boss, I just got back from the armory. That was the uh, shark fishing. We had one big strike. Messed up the leader. Probably a. Right? Took a question. chunk out of the bait, but didn't stay on. Talked to Ryan since 
All this happened? And then we decided to start drinking. Yep. Maybe you should tell her you're okay. Four or five days left though, we're okay. Gotta be a Spanish or a blue. Finally hooked something on the beach. Oh my God, it hit like a freight train. Bet you it's a Spanish or a blue. Oh, it's a ribbon fish. <laughs> what in tarnation is that? It's 100% what it is. Ribbon fish. How many of those do you call? <laughs> the answer is, sir, we need, we need your opinion. I'd like to talk to, <laughs> we need like your to, opinion talk to somebody else, please. Yeah, let, let the, yeah, let the, let the kids see it. Do you want to see it? Yeah, let the Come kids see it. Come look at a picture. It's a ribbon fish. It's a ribbon fish. It's a ribbon fish. It's a ribbon fish. Look at this sunset. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. Look at me. Look, look, at look, look how nasty that is. Well, that's probably what you just saw in the surf. Yeah, that's why I thought I saw like he long said he and saw behind. Trying to find a different place to hook them. Okay, good luck with it staying on the hook. There we go. Hey, buddy. I think he'll got no snacks. Appointment stuff out there, though. Man, is that dark. Parties, you go that way and it's completely clear. Go oh, that way, not so much. We got a shotgun with yours right there. Yeah, no, another video, right? Yes. Shark fishing has been really bad. Drinking's been good. Hey, we got three beers of shotgun right here. Nope. Well, we just had the worst possible thing happen. We only had like a three foot leader on that one. And I guarantee you whatever it was, tail set, the grade broke it. Well, guarantee it. That was a small bait, 100 yards out. That sucks. A lot of sitting for that. Well, the first day is like, the first day, day was an day afternoon. Yeah, it's day two for fishing. Yeah. And we're taking both trucks down or just yours or mine? Just yours. So we haven't really done much surf fishing because of the weather. It's raining right now, actually. It's finally out. That's the hazard of night fishing. Is there any evidence of top light? Looks pretty clean to me. Sharp? Yeah. Nothing. Nice 
We had a good strike last night, but it did not hook up. So Luke and Matt are fishing the sound. Isaac and Luke are fishing the sound this morning. That's going to be a completely separate video that you guys will see. Oregon Inlet sound fishing for reds and trout. That's going to be something completely different. But for the surf fishing stuff, um, we have three more nights left. We had one good strike last night. Otherwise, we really haven't done too much surf fishing for sharks. We're going to hit it hard tonight. Definitely hit it hard tomorrow night. We'll hit it hard Wednesday night and then we'll see. But there's still a good chance we'll get some sharks. The beach, as you can see, is a little bit more crowded than it was last year. COVID, the beach is a little bit more bare. But in the evenings, there's no one down here. So we'll be able to kayak some baits out. The first couple days, it was rough weather. The waves are still pretty good. Yeah, the waves are heavier than we'd like, but. We got a no swimming advisory because there's a hurricane off the shore, off the coast. But it's way out there, not gonna hit us. But it's messing the weather up in the waves, so we can't take the kayak out today. It's just too gnarly. Just hold your thumbs on and make sure it doesn't go too fast. Okay. Tis all. Okay. Day four taking out baits. Yep. We've only been we've only taken out what four total baits? This will be five in four days. So not a ton. There we go. Some biggins. Nice. I was hoping there were some bigger ones in there. 